So the other day, a friend shared this thought. When you choose peace, it comes with a lot of goodbyes. Choosing peace is not for the faint of heart. It actually means the following. Number one, understanding that there is always a price to pay for the absence of peace in your life. We all know that the body keeps the score when we live in sustained mental, physical, or emotional distress. Whether in a high blood pressure or depression or neurological disease, the body will always win. Number two, slowing down to conduct an examination of all the things in your life that generate the opposite of peace, fear, and chaos. This requires self-awareness and the understanding that just because a person or a thing has garnered longevity in silence doesn't mean that they haven't eroded your essence. Number three, intentionally eliminating those things, those people that rob you of your peace. This is where the goodbyes come in. It may mean walking away from that relationship, leaving that job, saying goodbye to aspects of yourself that no longer serve you. And finally, it means taking responsibility by intentionally curating pockets of joy that amplify the muted voices of peace that is already within you. For me, it was contemplative practice, it was better nutrition, exercise, and only allowing those in my inner sanctuary that were on the same journey. I beg, I beg, I shouts, Biko, carry your drama, they go. So say goodbye to who? That person's name is already on your mind. Those are my thoughts of the day. Do with them as you will. Blessing.